While I was recently watching Hajime no Ippo, I came to the realization that I really enjoy sports anime. In fact, it may even be my favorite genre of anime in general. This may seem obvious to me now, since I definitely wasn't watching my first sports anime, but it made me wonder what others who don't or haven't seen any sports anime think about people like me who love this genre. That's when I decided to make this video about what I think the appeal of sports anime is. Since sports anime are generally based around playing some sort of game, characters are needed to play in these games. Whether it be a team sport or an individual competition, these shows rely on strong characters to lead the way throughout the story, playing in their respective sports. In the anime Hajime no Ippo, we follow Ippo Makanouchi, who is a high schooler that is constantly bullied. He is a kind-hearted and soft-spoken kid who just happened to get picked out by the bullies who harass him. One day, someone steps in to apprehend the kids that have been bullying him, and the man uses skills that he had learned through boxing to do this. After witnessing this, Ippo falls in love with the sport of boxing and wants to grow stronger. The way that he will do this is with boxing. He wants to know what it means to be strong. In Hajime no Ippo, we follow Ippo in his journey through his boxing career as he tries to defeat new opponents that come before him that get stronger and stronger. All of this for Ippo to eventually answer his question of what it means to be strong. While Ippo is in the ring, he becomes a different person from what he is usually like. Stronger willed, more serious, intense. The sport that he partakes in helped him in his physical and mental development. This is common among athletes in real life and in sports anime as well. However, this does not mean that Ippo is an asshole after victory. In fact, he often worries a lot about his opponent's well-being after he wins. This leads back to what he was like pre-boxing. You as the viewer want to follow Ippo's journey and see who and what he faces next, going through the obstacles in his life. Without such an interesting character like Ippo, sports anime would not be able to keep the viewer's interest, especially if they don't even enjoy sports in real life. They pull you into their stories with their intensity. Anime is a large and vast medium of entertainment, with many shows that have different core genres. These shows will also have a lot of subgenres. A subgenre that you'll often see associated with sports anime will be drama. In sports anime, while there isn't a tremendous amount of drama like, say, a romance show, it is still very present. An example of this is in Hajime no Ippo. Ippo wants to keep fighting and winning not only for himself, but for his mother as well. While Ippo trains for boxing, he has a lot less time to dedicate to help his mother with her family-run fishing boat business. If he were to consistently lose, he wouldn't be able to support his mother or himself anymore. This automatically puts pressure onto Ippo and gives him a major goal to focus on. As the viewers, we don't want to see him fail. By putting pressure like this onto a character, it showcases if they're able to make it or break it through their hardships. Ippo spends a lot of time showcasing tremendous growth and strength dealing with what he has to go through with his own dilemmas. By putting characters in these types of situations, it humanizes them a lot more to the viewers. They become more three-dimensional. It also allows them to be able to have an even more intense focus on their success in whatever sport they play. Comedy would also have to be one of the subgenres the sports anime lean towards. While some series are definitely better at implementing it than others, there is normally a running gag or two every so often so the viewer isn't bombarded with too much at once. In Hajime no Ippo, the entire main cast has their own running gags, but the character that can be described as the comedy relief is Aoki. While many matches in Hajime no Ippo and other sports series can be more on the serious side, it is nice to get a more lighthearted match every so often, if not a full game or at least part of one. In Hajime no Ippo, Aoki provides that. It gives the viewers time to breathe from the matches that are normally leaving us on the edges of our seats. While comedy relief characters like Aoki are in many sports anime, they do a good job at not overusing them and also making you actually still care about those characters as well. You don't want to see a character like Aoki lose all the time, you want to see him succeed along with his friends. Comedy in sports anime brings in a much needed lighter tone shift. If it wasn't for the comedy that was implemented into sports anime, we'd only be getting a bunch of melodrama all of the time. It mixes well with what real life can be like. Life isn't dark and gloomy all of the time. There's always going to be something or someone that makes you grin with delight, and a character like Aoki provides that. There's something the sports anime do that truly amazes me. This being that they are able to make you genuinely care about what happens to the opposition, and at times even root for them to win. Right before or during a game, the opposition are focused on more intensely. We get to see what dilemmas they go through on a day-to-day -day basis, and why they want to win. This is something that we can relate to. You might not be the protagonist in someone else's story, however, you are in your own. The opposition show a different side of what it's like to play in the sport that the protagonist plays. We get to see why they play and what they play for. Seeing them lose can at times be even more heartbreaking than seeing our heroes lose. You know a series is good when it is able to make you have conflicted feelings about who you want to root for, and well-written opposition is able to provide that. In conclusion, what I think is that even if you don't play sports in real life, sports anime provide many great things that can be beneficial in everyday life. 
They are able to blend multiple subgenres together without having too many awkward tone shifts throughout the story. They have characters that actually motivate you to go and push yourself towards your goals, and last but definitely not least, they have antagonists that can be even more likable than the protagonists that we follow in these stories. After having watched this video, I hope that if you haven't already seen any sports anime, you are at least more open to the idea of watching one now. Sports anime are great, and there is a vast variety of them for you to watch. For recommendations, I highly recommend Hajime no Ippo if you're looking for a more solo-based sport with a great mix of comedy and drama. I talked about it so much in this video, I hope that I was able to convince you to check it out. If you would rather watch a more team-oriented sport, then I highly recommend Haikyuu. Following Karasuno High School's volleyball journey has been a blessing to my soul, and I hope that it is for you as well. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please leave a like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe. It really helps my channel out if you do. Thank you for watching. Smooth Player, out.